from Vermont Maple Sticky, Krista Powers. Sustainable. 
You can buy capital-intensive equipment and then find a commercial kitchen to put that equipment in. Or you can outsource it to a co-packer, packaging company. And with those packaging companies, they have pretty high minimum runs and setup fees. So all these things have just created some issues, right? So to move forward and reach my goals, I'm looking for help. I need some funding partners. I'm looking to build a team that wants to help with like sales and distribution, for example. So if anyone wants to come chat with me at some point, I'm all ears. Um, we are going to be over at the ice, or excuse me, at the Overlook Cafe later. In the meantime. I invite you from my family to yours to try our products. Maybe if in your next recipe you're going to use maple syrup or sugar instead of the refined. Or you're going out on a long adventure, maybe training for the Grand Traverse, the Alley Loop. Or maybe you're just cramming for an exam. <laughs> instead of grabbing a Coke or a cup of coffee, see what we can do and see how your body reacts to it. So thank you very much for coming out tonight. We look forward to seeing you over at the Overlook Cafe later. I'll have samples of some products over there. Yeah, Kirsten. Come on over to the green chair of, Ac of Inquisition. So I get to sit here? Yes, you get to sit there. Uh, so the husband, is he also part of the current packing team? Um, no, but he is my CFO. Uh, he is CFO, good. <laughs> He, he moved up the ladder pretty the quick. Yeah. I was like, Dodson? <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting this uh, promotion. promotion where there's no pay upgrade. Right. Right, yeah. No pay period. So uh, these guys have had a chance to try some of the tree juice. So here, what do you guys think? It's yeah. delicious. Yeah, good. Uh, all natural and good for you. All right, so questions from you guys. Okay, so I've got a question. I'm originally from Alabama, but I do love maple uh, syrup from Vermont. And I'm curious uh, if and when the syrup runs out on the family farm. Who's going to be suppliers? Is that? That's a great issue? question. So currently, I'm just um, taking a small portion of what my family produces. Um, we produce around 7,000 gallons a year. And I've been, this last year, I took about a little more than 1,000 gallons of that. So I do have quite a bit of room for growth there. And then, believe it or not, I have countless neighbors <laughs> that are all around that also make maple syrup. I mean, ours is clearly the best, but <laughs> so I, th I, I, I have a lot of room before I need to worry about that. I'm pretty sure we could get Kelly to help you find a way to steal the stuff from yes. the neighbors with some automation that could be done remotely. So maybe we can bring two of these companies together later. Yes, good. Um, my question is, I think your story of being located in Crested Butte in the Rocky Mountains is a huge part of your brand. How do you plan on kind of incorporating that into your packaging and your overall story for Vermont Sticky? Yeah, so obviously the syrup is made in Vermont with my, by, by my family. I go out there and work with them. But if you've noticed in fine print here, the bottom, this one says um, that it's made in Crested Butte, which is true. I mean, I'm making my value-added products are all done here. And I can be, I can claim Colorado proud, and I'm psyched about that. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Uh, is there any truth to the story that the Kingdom of Vermont will be trying to acquire Colorado on their next ballot? Because <laughs> that would help you a lot, and I, I've been hearing that you've been backing that proposition. You know it. <laughs> So, uh, very delicious and uh, love your product. Um, I'm curious, you've seen, you've only been around for two years? Two and a half. Two and a half now. Where are you seeing most of your sales? Well, up until recently, it was pretty much just the maple syrup. So this past May, I launched the sugar, and then that's when I had the idea of this product here. Um, before that, I had been um, making very small scale the energy boost, the sticky boost, and that's just sold at like farmers markets, um, so direct to consumer, mostly my friends, um, but some other people like doing uh, the Leadville 100 that I didn't know, and um, other people doing the Grand Traverse. So I mean, it's pardon. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been advertising it much yet, so just on the cusp of that. Wonderful. Cool. 
Um, can I throw in a question? Uh, this, so this because this comes back from cohort Uno, where there's the hand packing. There's hand packing right now. Dots, and you should be helping. And uh, so, what keeps you from going next scale to a co-packing facility or the equipment that would be needed? Yeah. So the co-packing um, companies that are out there, they have really high minimum orders. So, for example, the energy gel. Um, it needs to be hot packed, and it's uh, these companies. There's not even a one in Colorado. I would have to ship everything to Utah as the closest place, and they have a minimum order of 100,000 units per skew per flavor, which is a massive order. So that's basically going from a very small niche business like I am to massive scale, and it's really hard to grow organically within that. It's just set up that way. Right now, I mean, I would love to bring everything in house and do it all here in a commercial kitchen space that's shared by Rachel and you know other folks, and maybe we could share equipment and just make those costs come down and then scale as demand call for it. Uh, you mentioned Rachel, but not Allie. Do you not like Allie? <laughs> I love Allie. If, if this is not the time to talk about it, that's fine. There we go. That's good. Uh, you could probably put some in your coffee. I know we've been doing that while we've been training. So uh, later on tonight, they're going to be mixing some cocktails with Vermont Sticky. I think you should call it Vermont Giggle Juice. It's the Sticky Icky. It's the Sticky Icky. She can make some good stuff. Uh, if you want to buy some of that stuff, you can get it here in Gunnison. You can get it at the Overlook Cafe, Gunnison Vitamin, Burnell's Food Truck, Tributary Coffee Company. Uh, hey, Alpine, yes, they're making a yummy beer there where they call the Basil and the Aberdeen. Backcountry Cafe, you have to ask for it on their menu. Mountain Earth up at CB, Clark's Chopwood, Scouts General, Paradise Cafe, and McGill's. And I want 10% of any of those uh, sales that come in from tonight's mention. Done. Good, thanks for lying to me. And I'm not good with math, so you can take whatever you want. Uh, please put your hands together one more time for Chris Power.